images exist of the Sarnia area, at least as far back as 1830, when Elizabeth Jones, daughter of the early settler in the Brights Grove area by the name of Henry Jones, set up a commune A few years later, in 1832, the same Elizabeth Jones drew this image of the store of George Durand along the St. Clair, showing what was likely the first business in what was then known as the Rapids. The store belonging to George Durand was located about where present day Christina Street and London Road intersect. Miss Jones later married Colonel E.P. Faithorne and they lived in what in a new home that is now known as the Brights Grove Library. Each Saturday from the 31st of March 1832 to the 31st of October 1845, the Penny Magazine of the Society for the Diffusion of Useful Knowledge an illustrated British magazine aimed at the working class, was published in London, England, and sold for a penny an issue. One Saturday, April 29th of 1837, this weekly showed this woodcut image on the front cover. Inside the magazine, there was a story about the River St. Clair and the Chippeway Indians, along with a sketch of the St. Clair River. This image from 1855 showing Front Street is perhaps the oldest surviving photographic image of early Sarnia. The next image, here produced on a postcard, was likely from a drawing created about 1856, the year the railway line reached Sarnia. Next is a hand-drawn illustration, a bird's eye view of Sarnia about 1867, the year of Confederation, including a view of the Beatty Steamship Line's paddlewheel, Manitoba. A similar bird's eye view drawing by an American artist named Patchen in 1872 shows Port Huron, the St. Clair River, and on the other side of the river, Port Sarnia. The Port Sarnia portion has been reproduced above. By 1880, the town stretched north and south from Duran Street to Telford and east to East Street. This map 30 years later showed how much Sarnia had grown just two years before it became a city of 30,000 residents. On this map, of about 1930, you can see how Sarnia is continuing to grow. The red box shown here shows the boundaries at the time that Sarnia became a city in 1914. And one of the most recent images of Sarnia area is a reproduction from of a photo from space taken in orbit by Lambton's own Chris Hadfield. <laughs>